I've been fairly sick lately, and since today is my birthday, I thought I'd treat myself to a few goodies, as well as open up this Ami Ami box, which arrived just in time, though with a little bit of damage. This order was originally from October, hence the Halloween art card, but the first item is a plushie from Odd Taxi. Now this is a little bit odd because it's made by Good Smile, you know they don't usually make a lot of plushies, but it's a fairly high quality one, but the compromise is it's a little on the small side. Now Odd Taxi was a great show, but it didn't get a lot of figures or merch really, so I want something to remember this weird walrus by uh, Otakawa, almost forgot his name. But like I said, it's a nice plush, you know a lot of the details are here. The fur is soft, it's a sturdy plushie as well, when you squish it, it bounces right back. And the clothes don't feel too flimsy like it's gonna tear. But next up we have this chonky boy. This is a shark from a popular internet Japanese comic. I'll insert a few panels here. I mean, he's freaking adorable. Just look at him on this tag, he's so freaking happy just flopping around. But it looks like this one is made by Katakawa. So I guess that's two figure manufacturers now. But this not so little guy comes in three sizes, small, medium, and large. I went with medium, so he wouldn't eat through my wallet. From the front, he does look a little goofy since you can't see his eyes. But I think that just makes him all the more lovable. He's got his little green knapsack tied around him. His tail is adorable, but I think the best part is how squishable and fluffy he is. Then we have a sticker from ya boy Combing, I believe that's the English name. A very 80s-esque style sticker. Unfortunately, another show that didn't really get a lot of merch. So you know, 500 yen to have something to remember it by. Especially since I'm not sure it'll get a season 2, but hopefully Kodansha, the people who published the manga, do an English release. Before we show the figure that I got from Ami Ami, let's take a look at some of these art prints I got. Which, by the way, came in some great packaging. It came in a cardboard envelope, but it also was sandwiched between two extra pieces of cardboard, which were taped, and also a plastic bag. So all these prints are from the artist Melty Rice. The first one is Lucy from Cyberpunk Edge Runners. As I mentioned in my seasonal anime video, Edge Runners was great. And there is no shortage of fan art of Lucy on Twitter, but this was easily my favorite that I came across. You know, we got Lucy here holding somebody's hand, and of course, you can see in the reflection of the helmet, it is obviously David. But yeah, Lucy and the background are breathtaking and just really captures the beauty of space. I really love that the Earth and Moon are on opposite ends, and on the bottom right they put their signature in gold, which looks really nice. Next we have one of Mona from Genshin Impact. You know, I'm a big sucker for witches with big floppy hats. But they did a great job with all the little details on her outfit, especially all the gold, little brims and jewelry. But best of all is her little spell book here. You can see the little magic effect as well as the little writing on the inside pages there. That's some great attention to detail. I really appreciate it when artists go the extra mile. But this wasn't the only Genshin print, I also got Yai Miko, which is immediately stunning just from the sheer volume of sakura leaves and petals falling down. She's got her umbrella shielding her from this pink shower. On the lower half you have a lot of flowing pieces from her clothing and hair, though the sakura leaves really do pull your attention to the top half of this. I also really like how some of the petals are out of focus, especially on the right side. It really makes it feel like a photo, and then you have her making a little fox symbol with her hand. Um, I think Chainsaw Man has just ruined it for me, and now I think she's about to summon a demon. But speaking of Chainsaw Man, we also got a print of my favorite girl from Chainsaw Man, at least part one, Rize. Unfortunately, she hasn't appeared in the anime just yet, so I won't go into detail on who she is. But an iconic part of her character design and pose is her pulling on her choker. But here we have her doing it in a gorgeous sunset background in the ocean, alongside some birds. I was a little hesitant to get this because it's a little on the spicy side with the wet shirt. 
This artist also has a great print of Aubrey from Omori, which I really wanted. But then I decide to actually get this desk mat from the official uh, Omocat store. As you can see, I got a little excited and already started using it. In the top right, we have Hiro looking super happy, naturally, because he's with the super sweet Mari. Just look at those two lovebirds blushing, being extra naughty with their scandalous hand-holding. But one thing I really like is that all of them are wearing their own t-shirts. These are actual t-shirts that Omocat sells in their store, so they're all wearing their own merch which is just really creative and fun. But most importantly, we have Aubrey on the right here, looking super embarrassed and nervous. Uh, just so freaking adorable. Going back to the art prints, fortunately I had a few picture frames left over from my last art print haul. But since I only had three, one of them had to get left out, and uh, it looks like Mona was the one that was left out. And last but not least, the figure from the Ami Ami box, was just a pop-up parade, but a very nice one because it's Hosho Marine from Hololive. Personally, I haven't had the chance to watch a lot of Marine's videos, but I just wanted it to add to my pirate collection. Anyways, the box is pretty boring, you know, pretty standard for pop-up parades. A lot of the newer pop-up parades have the circle bases, but thankfully this one still has the hexagon, so it matches with the other Hololive figures. And like the others, the base is a milky white, but thanks to Marine's color palette, the black and red really provide a nice sense of contrast. Even her boots have a nice little shine to them. Taking a closer look, I think they did a really good job with this figure. The face looks good, you know, you have all the little accessories and details, a very fun pose for her. The little color gradients on the side hair is nice. Of course, all of this is because the character design itself is just really good. Honestly, I think this figure is worth your pirate gold. There's not a lot to be disappointed with, but if you had to nitpick, I guess it would be the sleeves. You don't really get to see the hands. I mean, if you look inside, it's just like filled in. But I mean, from the front, you're never gonna notice that. Here is her next to Okayu and Kurone. But just note that Marine was more expensive than these two. But yeah, that's about it for this little haul. If you want to support me, you can buy me a coffee. Or if you want, you can join my Discord and yell at me there. But as always, thanks for watching. Subscribing would be awesome. And I hope to see you on the next video. Bye bye